Welcome back to another mind test mod review. Today we are looking at the Easy Vending Machine mod, or I think it's actually just called Easy Vend, but whatever the correct title will be. Well, you, you've seen it already, and it'll be the video's title. So let's let's get started with the crafting recipes. So there are two different items that this mod adds: a vending machine and a depositing machine. Crafts are as such any group wood so any type of wood here will work and then two steel ingots on the two lower will give you the vending and two on the upper will give you the depositing machine uh, by default these are going to use gold ingots as the currency so if we go ahead and take a look at this depositing machine owned by me of course buying 20 apples payments of a gold ingot um, so basically I could sell 20 apples and get one piece of gold. However, I do not have any apples. So it's giving me an error message because I am the owner I can configure, but we don't want to do that right now. And here we have a selling machine where I can buy delicious apples for gold. However, the vending machine has run out. Again, we can configure this, but we'll get to that in a moment. Now obviously you can only configure it if you are the owner. Um, so let's go ahead and confirm that and I will go ahead and sell the apples here and I don't have enough to sell anymore and you will notice possibly I did not want to do that that these little status lights on the face change so when there is oh this yeah it would have to run out of gold to have an, an, um, to turn red. So let's go ahead and fix that. So how these work is you put a locked chest below them. And you put the inventory in the chest. So this one's selling gold for apples. And this one is selling apples for gold. So we'll put all the apples in there. And we'll run around and confirm that there we go so now it's showing the little green light because there are apples in inventory it can sell so we can go ahead and buy all of the apples until they run out and now the vending machine is out of order essentially and we can go ahead and sell all the apples here and uh we are out so i can't sell anymore but the machine still has it still has gold so it's still green so another player could come along and um you know they could sell their apples for gold now it's kind of a really horrible deal if you get one piece of gold for 20 apples and then they're charging one piece of gold for 10 apples like you are really getting ripped off if you buy apples from this guy he's literally making it 200 percent profit so do not come to this store to buy apples just just don't do it it's a bad idea uh, we're going to go around, and I'm going to throw apples in there, and we'll come back around this way, and of course you could, I don't have a pickaxe so I can't break that, you could have the chests visible, you know, there's no reason why you can't do that, um, I just chose not to for this little build, but you could, if you were putting these up in like a big store or something, you could put a basement below them that would have all the chests exposed so you could just go through and access your chests and get inventory in and out of them and i believe you could also use um pipeworks hoppers any kind of mod that manipulates the inventory of a chest and you could use it in conjunction with this so if you were buying something you could theoretically pull those items out of the chest as people sold them um so let's get to the buying and selling portion so say what we want to do, oh I can't pull that out, say we want 20 pieces of wood and we'll give one piece of gold, we do that, um, I don't have 20 pieces here though, however we can change this and we can say we only want two pieces and I can sell out two pieces until I run out. Um, now another thing we can do, uh, as we over as we hover here, it says append s to multiply with maximum stack size. So I believe if we do 2s, yep, 198. So two stacks of 
wood planks would give us one piece of gold. Now you will notice that the payment, I cannot, I can't put an item there. So I can't change what the payment is. Uh, I can change the amount. So we could say we'll get five. And if we look at the um, info text in the upper left hand corner, it'll tell us what's being bought and sold. And of course we can do the same thing here. We can say we're gonna offer 60 apples for one gold. Um, now unfortunately there's not enough apples in the inventory to do that. So we can't actually buy them, but we can fix that of course. And I intentionally pulled the gold out of there because we will see a little something as we come back in here. So now this one is out of order because it has no gold, so we can't sell anything. And I think we can do, yeah, we can buy a couple. And now it's out of order because it is out of material as well. Now the last thing is changing the, um, monetary item. I don't, I don't know what you would call this, the, the currency. And to do that, we actually need to go to the settings all settings and you can just type in easy and it'll pull up mods easy vend and it says right here currency item for vending and depositing machines default gold ingot so we can change this um, you do need to know the string so I just change it to default dirt and now if we go back and launch this world up there we go just takes it a second to refresh we're now selling dirt or buying dirt depending on how you look at it um and yeah now i haven't checked but in the name of science we probably should what if we put a string in that's invalid so there is no such note as default dirts it does not exist so i'm assuming you're just going to show an unknown item Oh, okay, good to know, excellent. I don't know if that's actually excellent or not, but it does, I did not want to click that button. It will default to a sane item. So if you put a string in that's not valid, it'll just default right back to the gold ingot, which is good. Um, at least you can't break your machines and be handing out unknown items to people and uh, there's no dirt in there so we can't do that and I don't have that much wood so we can't do that either and actually there's there's no dirt in this so I I couldn't do it anyways but that is the the easy bend mod for mine test um, this video is actually requested by I believe was he the creator of the mod or at least this version of it so if there is a mod that you would like me to do a review of, use the contact form on my website, nathansalpat.com, and let me know, and I will see you about making a mod review for that mod. And it doesn't have to be a mod you created, it just just needs to be a mod that um, I either have not yet done a mod review on, or I did do a mod review on, but it was of an older version, and there's new features, functionality, uh, kind of big changes that have happened since the original and then I would consider doing a new one if there's a lot of new features that weren't covered or some big changes or something so forms on my website use it if you want a mod review um, it's way better than leaving comments on YouTube asking for one because those are easy to miss or to get lost but that will wrap this video up thanks for watching tune in next week for another one just like it I mean, it won't be just like it because it won't be of this mod. It'll be of a different mod, but it'll be a my test mod review. So tune in for that, and I will see you then.